time for baseball in the Bay Area as we welcome you to the Oakland Coliseum. Today, a matchup out of the American League Western Division between the Texas Rangers and the Oakland A's. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Paul Blackburn gets the ball for Oakland in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? You know, Matt, I think this guy really is looking for a redeemer in this one. Went into the sixth inning in this last start, couldn't quite get out of the sixth, end up taking the loss, and I'm sure that hurt, and he's expecting a lot more out of himself in this start here today. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa, and we are ready Leading for some daytime baseball. The shortstop. Ready with the Isaiah. first pitch, here it comes. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there's one away. That'll bring in Nick Solak and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Lays off one and oh. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, D. Earl, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. The 2 1 home. Popped him up. Murphy waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting third. Giancarlo Stanton now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball that time. The 1 0 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Pitch on the way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Stanton on his way up to second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Stanton stands at second with two gone. And he misses with it one and one. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but backbreaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. 
Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. From the stretch, the one two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Two out double left stranded. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We're scoreless on MLB Network. Mike Fultonevich is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Rangers. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball. One and all. Fellas, this Rangers ball club as they begin play, they did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Hey, they come into game two of this series riding high. A huge one run victory yesterday. Able to do the little things to put them over the top. Hopefully that leads to some momentum Batting in game second. two. The center fielder, number 22. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. One and oh. One out, nobody on. High strike there and it's one and one. Hey you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch expecting the nasty slider to break down and away and it hung in the middle of the plate too late for him to pull a trigger. Fulton has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games the kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Trevino gathers and he makes the throw to first. Loriano is retired, two down now. Batting first. The right and field. that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. Charlie. His batting average on the Walk year down there. at the 240 mark entering play. First pitch coming, here it is. High in the air down the right field line. Gallo will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. A's are gone in order. Still no score. And now in the box, Chris Davis. His career numbers in this matchup, he's just one for six. Now here's the first offering. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. That exists. The center fielder, number five, Willie Calhoun. Next up, Willie Calhoun. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And now, pitch on the way. Now 
not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side in time to first and there are two away. So two out nobody on and that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. First offering. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. He's had some success so far but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy sooner or later they're going to figure him out. Rowanda Olson will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman Matt Olson. Olson. Now here's the pitch. Good breaking ball there had him frozen strike one. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one. Barely able to make contact down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is drilled but right into the shift. Throw on to first in time one away. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Matt Chapman. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch on its way. Bottom of the second here with no score. Popped him up. Trevino moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready now is Brandon Lau. Brandon. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And here's a slider for a called strike and he's behind one and two now. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will land in foul territory. Still one and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rugnet Odor. First offering on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. This is in the air out to right. Blackman on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So with one away a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one so let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. So now here is Jose Trevino a couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Third inning, no score to this point. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Up next, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. One ball, no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. That evens it up one and one. This is on the ground over to first. Olsen takes it on his own and the inning is. One two three go the Rangers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Jock Peterson now. Seven eight and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First pitch coming. Here it is. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. One, two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Swing and a liner. And there's the first hit of the game for the A's. Just an excellent job of bat head discipline right there. Able to go below the zone. That pitch is not a strike. That was actually a pretty nasty pitch. And he was able to go down and spoil it. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Oh and one count and the pitch. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and two. Peterson aboard here at first with nobody out. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Here comes the one two. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in that's swing done. mode. That pitch wasn't it. even close to the Go strike on. zone, and he still swung at Murphy. it. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. In the dirt here. 
That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff now single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. From the stretch, here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. That's, That's wide, 2-0. and 2-0. It's 2-1 hey, hey. to the A's leadoff batter. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Here it comes now to Andrus. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The A's strand one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Nick Solak. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. swing and he just fouls this one away. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. See you later over the wall a home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world. Digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Here's a swing and a ground ball. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Kind of interesting pitch selection right there. You could tell. Now you double up on a changeup normally when you got a guy out front on his front side. Not the case right here. He spit on that first changeup take right there. So I was shocked he went to the well again. Here's Joey Gallo now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. In the dirt, and now let's see. In time, and he is nailed at second. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch.
hit softly down the line at first. And there's out number two. The batter, number three. Striding forward now is the DH, Chris Davis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind no, and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Strike one to start the at bat. Davis leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fouled away. Here it comes on nothing and two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. At the plate now, Ronald Guzman. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. in the air down the line in left but this is going to wind up a foul ball and a good two strike pitch but he misses high one and two love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here lifted down the line in left but this is going to wind up a foul ball. A 1 2 pitch. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. Here's Rognet Odor now as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he watches one split the middle here one and one. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Here's the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Dribbled to the right side. One run, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. 
got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Texas. Stepping in once again is Ramon Laureano. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Number 22. First delivery to him. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Gallo is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. The right field, number 19. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Charlie Blackman. Here's the first pitch. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Popped him up. Guzman has room in foul territory. Two gone. Now batting. Two now away now in the three. Oakland fourth. Matt. And that brings in the big power hitting Olsen. first baseman, Matt Olson. And now pitch on the way. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. That misses one wide. Back. One ball and one strike. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1 home. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The three and one pitch. Is swung on and missed. A full count now. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. A's are gone in order. They trail this one one to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And now it'll be the catcher, Jose Trevino. Now here's the first offering. And boy, a high strike call there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. One and two to the Rangers catcher. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. That one misses badly. It's ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. 
Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. High in the air out to center field. Loriano able to track it down for the third out. Rangers set down in order, but they're up one to nothing. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings, the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Owen won the count. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind Owen, too. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing yeah, strikes, but how the about the amount reason. of strikeouts? And what's even right more there. impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Stanton on the run and foul. Struck out in his first at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One and two. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. High in the air out to center field. Calhoun waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now, back. now to the plate, here is Jock Peterson. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. No balls in one strike. The windup and the 0-1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five Even shutout count. innings. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two, two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. 1-2-3 go the A's. It remains 1-0. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. 
first offering. The 1-0 home. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. Now it'll be Joey Gallo 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him score at 5 3 on the put out though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless there are two away now. So two away for the Rangers here in the sixth and that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Olsen is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they hold a 1 0 lead. Late now is Chad Pinder. He'll start things out in their Here half of the sixth as they look to shake things up no here field. for a lineup that, quite yeah. frankly, has been non existent today. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Pitch on the way. And he lays off there, 1 0. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Popped him up. Guzman over to his left. One down. So here is Sean Murphy looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Guzman is over now, and he's got it for route number two. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Now here's the first offering. Nope. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the run is Calhoun. He can't get there as it falls in. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see, he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Now at the plate, Ramon Laureano. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. First pitch of the A.B. on its way in there for strike one zero oh and one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Owen oh two. 
Boy, you could see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Two quick outs from the 8-9 guys in the order, but the top of the order, it's a different story. A knock and then another single back-to-back, -back, and now you've got traffic with the big guys coming up. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. Adore's got it, and that ends the inning. A's strand a couple. They still trail one nothing. Now to bat, Willie Calhoun. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. First offering on its way. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The 0 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Kinder settles under it, and there's one gone. Now batting, the first base. Striding in is Ronald Guzman. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Here's the first pitch. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Left side, but well foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first. And that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. But they lead it one to nothing. Last half of the seventh here. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman Matt Olsen. Here's the pitch. One and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. On its way is pitch number 75. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Now Into the box, Matt, Matt Chapman. He comes in Chapman. 0 for 2 thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. 
guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Into the box, Brendan Lau. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Comes set with the 0-1, and a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Man, that's one of those, how could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. There's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And now, how far will they send that man from first? Chapman is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square and one apiece. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. So next to bat will be the left-handed yeah. hitting Jock Peterson. Strike one to start the at-bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. One two is an off speed pitch no dice it's two and two. Three balls and two strikes a full count to the A's D.H. Wow this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2 and he's seen a lot of pitches too. And he fouls this one off. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. That was a big strikeout there guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now Chad Pinder as he tries to go out and get the slider but it's not there it's strike one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far oh and one count the pitch one one Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Line drive to center field. A dive, but it's off his glove. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the A's two and the Rangers one. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 
J.B. Wendelkin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off for Texas, the catcher, Jose. To the plate now, Trevino. Jose Trevino. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. Here's the 0 1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. At the plate, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And it's fouled away. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Nick Solak, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. You know, it's funny right there. You look at that pitch, and it's almost a hybrid in between a big time old school curveball and a nasty slider that goes off the fastball. That's kind of right in the middle, right there, kind of working off the clock, that three to eight, if you can picture that in your head. Tough pitch to lay off of. Two out, nobody on. That misses and we're even at two and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Blackman will make the catch here and that ends the inning. One two three go the Rangers. Our score remains two to one. Josh Spores is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy.
first pitch of the A.B. now. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Fouled off. The 0 2 pitch and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So with his day fully over now you get a look at the pitching line for the Rangers starter and he'll be very happy with how the day went. Well this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one didn't get much run support he's in line for the loss and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. Standing in now Elvis Andrews as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. One out, nobody on. Chopped to third. Throw gets him, two down. So next to hit is Ramon Laureano, singled in his last at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left hander starts to get cranking down there. Now the 0 1. Squared that one up just a little late. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weak grounder back to the mound. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. A's are gone in order. They still lead it two to one. Trevor Rosenthal comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. When your closer comes in and okay. strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get. But retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. He's set. Here it comes. Joey Gallo comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. Behind 0 and 2 now. And it's another king. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Here's Chris Davis now as he'll take a look at ball one. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And now this crowd of 27,000 plus rise to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, we were treated to a nice pitcher's duel in this one. Both starters throwing strikes. They worked deep, and both were in command of the game. It really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun game to watch. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Athletics jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Paul Blackburn gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Mike Fultonevich pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Trevor Rosenthal hammers down the save his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian. We all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious athletics. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left four.